Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. See, it feels better when I <laughs> when I open up the, the lower leg. All right. Okay, guys, rolling. And whenever you're ready to do the intro. Okay. Who's okay. doing the intro? I'm not doing the intro. Apparently, okay, she wants I to do the intro. I guess that's me then. So no, I'm gonna do the damn intro. Go ahead. All right. You never get to do the intro, Sarush. Eric. Go ahead. Go ahead, Steffi. Okay. I thought Steffi was doing it. No, dude, I'm doing it. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> do it. I need to hear what I need to hear. Okay. Go for it. Okay, lights, camera, action. Welcome to another episode of HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviewers. I am Surush Mehdi. And I am Steffi Grace. Are you sure? No. And we just saw the Bohemian most Rhapsody. epic... What? Bohemian Rhapsody. What do that for? No need to draw no, it out. Stop. Bohemian yes, Rhapsody. I am drawing it out. The most epic of a musical film that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I never had that much appreciation for this band until this film. What is it called? Bohemian Rhapsody. There we go. I swear to God. So. Yeah. So it stars Remy Malek. Obviously. Malik, and <clears throat> it's directed by Brian Singer. Oddly enough, he was fired from the, after, you know, before it was pr uh, finished. Why could you jump right into that instead yeah. of explaining Anyways, what the film so was? So basically, it is a biopic about the, the, the band Queen. And Not more certainly, that. Freddie Mercury, the late the and infamous great Freddie infamous. Mercury. I wouldn't call him infamous. Uh, the infamous. Influential. Influentially yeah. famous. So if you're a fan of Queen, or if you're not a Freddie fan of Mercury. Queen, you're going to like the film. Let me give you my opinion on it. As a standalone film, whether or not you know any inaccuracies in that film or not, I'm not saying there is or isn't. I do. I do. Just sh keep yeah. going. Anyways, <clears throat> regardless. As a film, it was awesome. You know, it, it, I, I don't know about, like I was saying, accuracies or whatever, but I loved it. It made me cry, and I saw it twice. I thought that was your third one. No, that was the second I want, time that I'm working wanted. on the third one. But your opinion? I agree. I, um, I liked it. I liked this a lot. It was um, about a band that I wasn't too much of a huge fan of, but I liked, I liked their music still. I, I, Who doesn't? Who doesn't like him? But um, here's the thing: it, when when this film came out, I was I was skeptical. I was thinking they were gonna go rambunctiously, every, like all over the place with it. Wait, I thought they were gonna have it? no. I was I thought I was gonna like it still anyway, because I yeah. heard good reviews from other f uh, friends of colleagues of mine who went and saw it. Um, the only inaccuracy I could think of to uh, state right now is the scene where he finally fires Paul. The other, um, well, the course. game manager that he has. Well, the one that was the one that was fired for villainy. It's my <laughs> favorite part too when he says that. Um, apparently, I looked it up. Uh, in actuality, he he does fire Paul, but it wasn't before the Live Aid concert that they did. It was after. That's not neither here nor there. The, the detail well, of that, but. Yeah. But I just thought if they were going to keep it an epic, a biopic, like you, like you uh, biopic. said, a, a biopic. I used to call it biopic, but then I heard it just right? bi bi biopic. Bionic. Bionic. Bionic, bionic means is something bison, totally different. It's like bicentennial. My dog man. had surgery on his leg. My dog has a bionic leg, so because it's metal it's, now. Anyways, weird. I digress. Not about that. All I can say is that uh, the, overall, you I know, think, I didn't like the movie despite this, I know that you is didn't. a lie. You know why? Because oh, I asked is you immediately you afterwards. Said you, loved you said it. you said you didn't think it would be. I know a what, good you movie know why he's cinema. doing this. And you know you what? Know immediately he's doing afterwards, this. I said, "What did you think?" And your eyes were kind of watery. Stephanie, and you, you know why he's doing moved. this. He has to. He has to and, say something. And you said, "I liked it. I thought that was a great film." He has to stir it up, man. I thought you were going to cry. I thought so too. I saw some. I saw some teary I, eyes, man. I did. I, I saw I some. I saw you crying, Sarush. I was crying. I'm mad yeah. enough to admit that. Well, I think the I, the, the, the <coughs> loneliness of his character was was very well captured. But, and, you but know, it, on top of is, that, he wasn't here's, here's, really alone. Well, here, there was a huge. Well, just because you're a celebrity, just because you're a celebrity, of, uh, does not well, mean you are not lonely. No, but yeah, Hold on. yeah. You mean Hold his on. personal? Yeah. Here, here's another thing that I okay. knew about long before the movie came out. Uh, Mary, the That's love of his, his life. He, that, he, no, no, that he was his muse. The, hold on. Throughout but, okay. the entire film, he keeps referring to her as the love of his life. Yeah. And I he already does. knew about that. He always did consider her the love of his life, even though he was gay. You know, he, he gave her the house. You know? Well, he, he was bisexual. Her, he, he came out to her as bisexual. But she said he's gay, 
And if you look but back the, on no, it's, other... Yes, I did see that. I did see that. But again... Because I also read there, a lot, there are a, so a lot many on Freddie Mercury. There are so many different... And... You know, the guy, that, the guy, that, the yeah, guy that he it, met at the party that he ended up with, he left him like 500,000 pounds when he died. Yeah, he left everything to him. No, 500,000 yeah. pounds. That's not a lot. That's very little. Oh, I'm what, sorry what to is, say this, but that's, the, that's, that's, that's like, a lot. That's, yeah, it no, is. No, it's not. Back then? Yeah, dude. Back then? Yeah. I would give this film nine out In of the ten 70s stars. Well, what would you do? I'm giving it a freaking 19 out of ten. Like, I liked it. 19? You can't give a 19 yes, out of Yes, I 10. can. I just 10 did. 10 is the top, man. Yeah, 10 Buddy, is. Like, that's what I just did. I, I hear a lot like of people say, I'm going to give it 11 out of 10. Uh, that has how much you're going to give it. You can't really do... Stop it. Look, <laughs> that's my review on that. I liked it. I think it was one of the greatest because it was also, mm -hmm. if you look it up, their Live Aid 1985, con the performance they give, that was considered by all the other... Big, big ass badass bands that were there before Queen mm -hmm. even said because of Freddie Mercury's performance that day right. that that whole thing was considered the greatest rock show of all time. So when was now, that? If you hear the, the who, it was in the nineties. It was in the nineties. Early nineties. Huh? Yeah. He just passed away. Well, if you consider recently. the nineties recent, it's, it's kind of funny because he died in nineteen ninety one. Yeah. Really. Since I know the actual date, don't just say in the early 90s. Since I know the no, actual dude, date, the actual I am date. expert on all things Freddie Mercury, yes, darling. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't do uh, an English accent, but okay. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, cameo alert, Mike Myers. Who's Mike, Mike Myers. Myers. He Mike was, Myers. You Austin didn't see that? Powers. Austin Powers? Austin, Austin, Austin Powers. Powers. Yeah. Well, who was he? He was Fought the one guy that said nobody would ever listen to a six-minute-long song. The Emmy. Bohemian Rhapsody. He was, he the, was that guy. He was the he producer. Was the, he was, he that, was the producer yeah. at Emmy. Producer. He was. The one that said Bohemian Rhapsody would Dude. never, ever make it on the charts. And boom, it what happened. It did. You know, and then it's funny because they did a an insert uh -huh. of him sitting at his desk like this. like While, while they were already big. And contemplating and sulking in his regret that he fired them. Because remember, he fired them. He lost the biggest band. He lost the biggest band. Well, they that could have been walked his. Out. Well, according to they walked out, out walked but out but yeah. but according to him, but according to uh, according to Mike Myers's character, he he was like, yeah, you never you'll never make it. You guys are like not even has been's. You're a never was. Like he literally was just yeah. He Can was I say something about the like, title? Bohemian Rhapsody. <clears throat> if you think about it, that that's one of their. They're big songs. Now the song itself, why is the why is there a phone ringing? Eric. Oh, hold on, let me get that horn. That is so Eric. Hello. Oh my God, he better cut this part out. Hello. I know he won't. I know he won't. Hello. He's a telemarketer. Kidding me, oh dude. man, it's a telemarketer. I swear. But Just put dude. it on. Oh my God, this actually. So as happened. I was saying, the song Bohemian Rhapsody is full of comedy, drama. And melodrama and opera and epicness and, and rock. Epicness. And it's very, uh, very epicness. fitting for the actual film because the film is all, <laughs> actually has all those things. So what did you guys think about the acting? Awesome. Uh, are we talking about Rami Malek specifically owned it. Rami Malek? Yeah, he, he, he did. He did amazing. Yeah. And not only he that, he really took he's amazing. the one that took charge and yeah. was complaining about, about the, the, the you know, professionality of, of He's the one that got the director Stinger? fired, Stinger? right? Well, he didn't get the director fired. The director got himself fired. No, he didn't fired, get it. Yeah, but he actually reported it, be, you know, because he was thinking we're all professionals, and and the and but this, turns out the director the director was going that he had some I mean, had of, some family issues that he yeah. needed to tend to, but uh, well, During they got it done. Though, it, when you look at the film, you will have no idea that it was a different director, uh, Dexter Fletcher, yeah. who had to take over for the last sixteen days of production. Wow. So yeah, it, it's it's Such seamless. A small time yeah. crunch so for anyways, that, but. You think that's about so? What's sixteen? So, so you, yeah, you know what? I would agree oh. with you. I thought it was an amazing movie. You know, it was really, really good. I was just trying to roll up. Yes, I know you always did. There always he's trying I, to I, I knew. Up. But um, my but yeah, personal favorite moment was that phone I mean, ringing. I didn't expect it to be that good. You know? I know you like, didn't. I was like, I don't want to go watch a movie about a rock. And why band. did you see that movie? Because Steffi made me. Yeah. yeah. Because Steffi yeah. made you. Yeah. It was wow. worth it. Very worth it. It was worth You're it. You're welcome, Eric. Thank I'll you, tell Steffi. you what's not worth it. What's that? The phone? No. The possession of Hannah Gray's. Oh, don't. Oh. Ah! 
We'll, we're we'll, not supposed to. Do, I know we're not supposed we'll, to review. Another we'll get film, into that next time. So what's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, so I'll give it a ten. Really, I will, and I would watch it again. I think it, it was really, really nice. Again, I just did, you know, I, I am going to give some it my those, nineteen. Some of those I party was, scenes were a little over the, you know. Kind no, of I don't that's, think they no, were I don't over think the top so, at all. I think exactly that's how, one of the things you kind of have to capture. Yeah, and yeah. you yeah. have to so, pound it into yeah. people's head. This is what this guy had to overcome. This is the that's lifestyle what he, was, he led. Yeah, that was this his flaw. This is what he had to come back from. Eric, that was his flaw. That was a major flaw. Yeah, it was. No, I'm talking about that guy. That's what killed him. In a way, what? Yeah, that's what killed what, him. That, okay, that part of his of lifestyle. He died yeah, of AIDS, but, but that's AIDS? the thing because he, he had well, the we, AIDS. We Makes all it sound like the AIDS. he's the AIDS. Listen, he well, I don't remember it, it, if they even if they even state when and when no, he they contracted don't, it. But it's it's just implied. You know, it's, it's interesting just implied how, we all how knew he starts had it. off. He starts off as a baggage handler. So it's would you call that a rags to riches story? I would. Yeah, I actually the, the would band because he, that had he, joined, he literally had nothing. That, well, that would later become Queen. They they just lost their lead singer. Yeah, Smile. and he steps in. So and he Steffi, steps in. Yeah. What was the tearjerker moment for you? <clears throat> oh, several. Like which is the biggest one? Several. The one like where, when he's for when, me the one where the he one finally where he a, gives his father for, a hug. Well, no, that it's, it's we never see in the film. It's the one where he has a friend, uh, Steffi, his not best you, friend, his the love of his life, Mary Austin. They have this little code thing that he tries to initiate. You know. Do you have a drink in your hand? And they're on the phone because they're, they're they oh, live next that door was to each lame. other. Oh, yeah, that, that was really lame. Yeah, lame. Are you <laughs> tearjerker? Lame, you know? Oh, like, lame. Yeah. And then later on, when she's not there, and he he sort of has his drink, and then he just turns on the light to see and if she's, she's there. She, yeah, he yeah. calls her. Nothing yeah. and nothing. There, there's she's, nobody. She's married there. to another man and has kids. So yeah. what about you, Sarush? What was your tearjerker moment? For me, was when he gives his dad a hug. that that one that you yeah. But for me, it was when he fi- when he finally. Uh, came i guess to terms and they and him and his his father saw eye to eye with his with his special son is how he referred uh freddie mercury yeah, that was a really lame moment good it words is, yeah. good deeds very lame <clears throat> very lame no oh, that's not the yeah, part really, really no, she that's a zoroastrian a, another hey, word for that is a, that is a zoroastrian motto it yeah, really is and it is and, and that's and how that's how they grew mm-hmm. up it's just everybody thought he was Pakistani, which was they the offensive. They called him Paki. They, they kept calling him a Paki because that's what they did in England well, uh, at the hey, time. Well, this it's, this is going to be a super long review because we're already at 12 minutes. So shall we just wrap it up? Just cut it out. Yeah, just All right, so thank you for watching. If you have a chance, go see Bohemian Rhapsody. See it twice. See it five times. I know I will. Thank you. This is Steffi Grace. You're welcome. This is Sarush Mehdi. Thank you for joining us. And please join us again for the next episode of HSC Movie Makers. Academy okay, we, Movie Reviewers. No, we can't say that anymore. Why not? We're saying the movie. Reviews. I like how you totally let me say that Academy in the movie beginning. Reviews. Academy yeah. Movie Reviews. Bye-bye. I got nothing left to You're say. You're still recording. Why? You're still recording because he's, he's trying to get my <laughs> Anyway. Okay, okay. I'm cutting.